This video is about the arc length and the area of a sector. When the angle is given in radians, the arc length and the area of the sector are given by very simple formulae. S is used, for whatever reason, to represent the arc length, R the radius, theta the angle, which must be in radians, and A the area. We have S equals R theta, and A equals half R squared theta. And in questions like this, you may also need to use the sine rule, cosine rule, and the area of the triangle, half A, B, sine C. Just one example today, find the area and perimeter of the green region. You'll notice we have a triangle, which has a sector inside it, with a radius of 9. The angle is 0.84 radians, and one of the sides of the triangle is 14 metres. Firstly, we look at the area. The area of the green region is the area of the triangle minus the area of the sector. Using half AB sine C, we have half times 9 times 14 times sine 0.84, which is 46.91. And for the area of the sector, we have a half of 9 squared times 0.84, which is 34.02. The difference is 12.9 metres squared. For the perimeter, we need to consider how it's made up, and I've labelled the triangle ABCD to help us. We need an arc, we need BC, and we need DC. The arc is R theta, or 9 times 0.84, which is 7.56. We use the cosine rule to work out BC, so 9 squared plus 14 squared, minus 2 lots of 9 times 14 cos 0.84. When we square root, we get 10.43. And then DC is just the difference between 14 and 9, which is 5. And adding them up, we get 27.0 metres. That's all, folks.